Another new function in uh, Calypso 2017 is actually a new characteristic. It's uh, a new distance. You will find it behind size, distance, and here it's called caliber distance Cartesian and the caliber distance polar, which is actually almost the same like the simple distance. Let's I want to show you that. Let's take the simple distance, the caliber distance, and maybe the polar caliber distance. And we are interested in the distance between maybe these two circles. I'll put the circle down here and this one. Let's run them quick. So the simple the simple distance, the old one, was is not new for you. I just want to repeat that. And we were interested in the y value, for example. Okay, that's this distance. Cartesian, polar, 2D, or 3D. So what is new now with the caliber distance? It's almost the same. But if you select the first and the second feature that we have the same example we also want to evaluate why but from centrum to centrum the first thing is that immediately we can see let's call it dimension error like in the drawing we can see the evaluation direction the value is the same uh, 35 uh, 313 of course, because we evaluate from centrum to centrum in y direction. But what happens if you're interested in the biggest diameter from here to here? In the past, we had to use either a power feature or the result element to calculate the distance plus the two radiuses. And here you can select maximum to maximum, for example, both maximums or here the maximum and here the minimum or both minimums or one centrum to a minimum whatever a uh, little bit like in, uh, in holos if you know holos from the past centrum to centrum or min and max or, or min and min and max and max whatever and if you evaluate from maximum to maximum, you can either use the assigned feature, which is here least square, this is the cat entity, or the measured points. And uh, there's also a cool graphic in the release information. I just have to concentrate to find the page. It's page 24. I jump to page 24 quick. And I show you the release information as well. Almost here we are. And of course, you know what I mean. So you either use the associated feature or the measured points. But then, of course, it makes sense to measure a high number of points. Forget it to do this with three, four, or five points. <coughs> Sorry, inside uh, inside the circle. It also works with polar distance. It's almost the same thing. Let's take the two circles one more time. And we all know when we work with a polar distance, we need a projection plane. Here it was the plane A. That's it. And then the same thing, either from centrum to centrum, minimum, maximum, use the associated element or the measured points. Cool function. I really, really like it. 